Hi everyone, welcome to Embarder 369. So when you need date and time in your project, so you will use RTC time of ESP32. So the problem is if you if the ESP is restarted, then the date and time will change. So in order to overcome that, what you have to do is every time the ESP32 restart, the first step you will do is to set the internal clock with NTP server. So if you do that step, then you will not face any problem. So those things we will see it in this video. So now let's create a new project. So I created a new project. So from my GitHub, you can go to SNTP, and I have I have already made the code. You can just copy, paste it here. Let's build the project. So now the project is built successfully. So first, what I will do, I will just set my SID and password. So I'll go, just go to the main. So from main, this is where our application will stop. So after setting the Wi-Fi SSID and password, we'll go to here. So this where this in this is the function. It will set the clock actually. If the clock is not synchronized. It will go to the NTP server. It will retrieve the data from that. From that data, it will set the uh, date and time according to that to the our ESP32. So let's upload this code and check it. What is the result? So I'm setting according to the Indian standard time. So SCD in password is connected. So yeah, we can see it here. So currently in Delhi, the time is 13 and 12. So it is 24 hours format actually. So the same result, you can check it here. The date and time in Delhi is this Sunday actually today. So you can see month also, date, month, year. Shows everything. August 21. So let's say if I want to like uh, so this is a main parameter actually which will give me the time. So you might have wonder actually. So UTC time early. It is plus 5.30 actually. UTC is plus 5.30. So, but our ESP32 will understand like the functions are made in such a way that like, you have to use the opposite of it. Actually. So if it is plus, plus 5.30, then we have to use negative like, minus 5.30. So for example, I will set the New York time. So New York UTC time. If I type will get minus four. So we have to use the opposite of it actually for the ESP. What will I do? I simply go here. So here I will type plus plus four. So you have to use the opposite of it, right? If it's minus 4, then I will have to use plus 4 actually. 
So let's check the result now. Internet is connected. So it is showing in New York the current time is 3.46. So let's check the time. New York time time now. So it is 3.46 a.m. So 3.46 a.m. Yeah. This what the this is the like exact time we are getting it. So let's try one more example like for Paris. Paris UTC time. In Paris the UTC time would be plus two hours. Okay. So if it's plus two hours, you have to use minus. So let's upload the code now. So Paris time now. This time now. So there it is 9:47 a.m. So this is something we supposed to get. Let's see what we get. So I uploaded the code. So we should get this result actually. So the current date and time in Paris is 948. Just refresh it 948. Yeah, we are getting the time. So this is how you have to set the internal clock of ESP32. So from this video, you might have got some idea about how to set internal clock of ESP32 with NTP server. So I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. See you on next tutorial. Have a nice day.